Hey guys, today we are in Rocks, PA, standing in front of Dutch Haven. Now what's Dutch Haven famous for, Bobby? Shoe fly pie. Shoe fly pie. Now do you know what's in shoe fly pie? No, I'm not real sure. Well, you need to know, because in Lancaster County, it's the pie of choice. So we're going to head in here and see if they can tell us what's in shoe fly pie and what kind of goodies they have. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Let's head in to Dutch Haven and see their shoe fly pie. Welcome to Dutch Haven. Dutch Haven is famous for the shoe fly pie. We started in 1946 sell, uh, selling shoe fly pie. At that time it was a restaurant and you would come in here and have your typical Pennsylvania Dutch meals, your pork and sauerkraut, your um, turkey stuffing, and shoe fly pie and Amish made root beer. Um, during that time, in the 50s and 60s, we sell over 120,000 shoe fly pies out of here. Shoe fly pie got its name because it was originally baked on outdoor ovens. Flies were attracted and you had to go shoe fly, shoe. It consists of molasses, brown sugar, cinnamon, baking soda, flour, vegetable gluten, and salt and water. Ours are good for two weeks at room temperature. A month in the fridge and you can freeze it. That's why we can ship the shoe fly and the chocolate shoe fly anywhere in the United States. So this being a restaurant, here's some of the original stuff from years ago. You know, it's still not used today. And even over there, it says family style dining. And this is the original counter. All right, he's going to tell us some of the other stuff they sell here. Uh, along with the shoe fly pie, we have chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies, snickerdoodles, our whoopie pies. We have pumpkin, chocolate, red velvet, oatmeal, chocolate with peanut butter. We have soft pretzels that we hand roll ourselves, along with a variety of fruit pies. Apple, cherry, blueberry, strawberry, rhubarb, peach, chocolate pecan, regular pecan, and we make Amish style root beer here ourselves. So you make that root beer? Wow. The YouTube channel. So the top of this still all the way around, which I've never noticed till today. It's really neat with all this stuff. Now oh, this is a gigantic gift shop. Supposed to have about 10,000 different items. Let's just take a quick peek through here. All kind of different stuff in here. Got some wind chimes, which I just ran into. Some different signs back here put on the walls just a whole assortment of different gifts the main thing you want to come in here for is the shoe fly pie and you're always going to get a sample when you walk in here and right there there's the part of the original restaurant that is neat so in case you're wondering all this stuff is made directly behind that wall in the former restaurant that's where it's all baked at so it's all fresh well we hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, history quick history of the dutch haven restaurant shoe fly pie now it's time to try our shoe fly pie I'm not a fan of the shoe fly pie. I'm not sure why, if it's the 
I don't know, is it maple in there or molasses? molasses. Not real crazy I've tried to get her to eat it. <laughs> she will not try it. No. I like it. I mean, there it is. A little whipped cream. Here we go. Mm. And they give you a free sample when you go in there mm -hmm. to see if you'd like it. Everybody that goes in that store gets a free sample. Every single person. Everyone but me. Everyone but Bobby. <laughs> he gave us two forks. And I'm sure it's good. It's just, it's not, I'm not a fan of it. This one but is. A lot um, of people love this pie. You tell it's fresh here. Let's look at it. Damn, that's crazy. It is good. And we also had to go get one of their whoopie pies. And I do like these. That one looks good. Mm -hmm. Look at all that cream. Awesome. That is loaded. Let's go one more bite on this. Mmm. Wow. That is so good. But also, wash it down. Amish root beer. Now, this isn't your normal root beer. It's a lot stronger. Mm. That is good, but it is very strong. So you really have to like root beer to like it. I like it. I would say most people might not like it, but maybe try it one time because you can, like Bobby. <laughs> you want to try it, Bobby? No, thank you. Bobby's not even going to try it. <laughs> you can get a small glass of it in there, or you can get the big uh, jug for $5.99. I personally think it's really good so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yes yeah, so until we meet again j and b have left the building, building.